This tutorial is going to talk about section 4.6, congruence in right triangles. So along with the other four kinds of congruency that we have in triangles, which are side, 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 angle, side, angle, side, angle, and angle, angle, side, we are going to come up with yet another one to put in our arsenal to help us prove triangles are congruent, and that is using right triangles. So if we have two right triangles, like these, um, we can actually prove that they're congruent as long as we know that two things happen. And that is, is if they have a hypotenuse that is congruent, so that would be this side here, and a leg. And it can be any leg. I could have this side congruent to this corresponding side, or... I could have this side correspond to this side. So this is called hypotenuse leg, and it is just another way to help us prove triangles are congruent. So the leg part means that you just have to have one of the legs, not both. So I want to explain to you why that happens. So if you look over here in the picture, um, I want you to, let's go ahead and erase these blue lines here. We're going to pretend that those aren't there. So if you look at this picture, let's say that we didn't know that, it, that we had hypotenuse leg to help us. Think of one of these other four ways that we could have proved that they're congruent. And in fact, this would be angle and then side and side. So this is one of those um, reasons as to why we can't prove triangles are congruent. So why does it make it so that this time it works? So the reason this is because it's a right angle. Because certain things have to happen um, because we have these right angles. So this is the only instance in angle side side that this works. And we don't call it angle side side. We call it hypotenuse leg because the only time it works is because it has a right angle. That's it. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. So we can take a look at a problem. So in this example, let's say that these are our right triangles, which they are, and if you see, the leg EL is congruent to its corresponding part in the other triangle, which is MA. And I also know that angle E is congruent to its corresponding part, which is angle M, and those are equal to 90 degrees, because that's what a right angle means. So let's say I wanted to prove that these two triangles are congruent. So what other information would we need to prove that these two triangles are congruent by hypotenuse leg? So I want you to look at the picture and see if you can determine if the side that is given to us is a leg or hypotenuse. And it happens to be a leg. So we took care of the leg part of the hypotenuse leg theorem, so what's the hypotenuse? And it should be ML for this triangle, and its corresponding hypotenuse would be SA. So I'm going to state that I need ML to be congruent to SA. And that concludes this tutorial.